the things we examine in the film is how under control the Vegas media is to the big money. They've always tried to control the media, so the media in Las Vegas are handcuffed a lot. You know, you have the casino owners and you have them utilizing their tools. You know, they have the elected officials that they backed, you have the media that they own, and so they're using those tools to keep what they want in place where they want it. Everything's connected. The reality of Las Vegas is what it is because they have so much political control over these entities. And I'm talking the city council, the county commission, the Las Vegas media complex. You know, you're talking about a town where the main newspaper, the Review Journal, is owned by Sheldon Adelson, who owns the Venetian. So you have a casino mogul that is basically in charge of the printed media here in Nevada. I was actually interviewed by a journalist from the Las Vegas Review Journal in 2017. It was a film festival and I had a movie screening at the Paris Resort and Casino. And I remember being in the elevator there when the journalist who did the story on our film, Wesley Jewell, actually told me that Joe Lombardo, the sheriff of the LVMPD, had called up his boss twice and tried to get him fired for writing articles criticizing the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. And then more recently, I was interviewed by another journalist from the Las Vegas Review Journal named Christopher Lawrence. And that was just in July. And I remember being on the phone with Christopher when he told me that he tries to stay as far away from writing anything that even remotely criticizes the LVMPD. He basically admitted to me that he's flat out scared of them. And you can kind of understand why that might be the case because there was another Las Vegas Review Journal writer named Lawrence Maurer who in 2012 did this really harrowing, hard hitting series about corruption and violence in the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. And it was a very short time after that that Lawrence Maurer left and went as far away from Vegas as you can get, 3,000 miles away to Florida. The journalists who are actually willing to be journalists to actually tell the truth about what's going on in their town, like Wesley Jewell and Lawrence Maurer, actually get chased out of town. But the cowards, like Christopher Lawrence, stick around cowering. The journalists who actually practice journalism, imagine that, have to go somewhere else to do it. We are talking about the largest mass shooting in the history of the United States. This is a crazed lunatic. My brother just killed 58 people. My dad was on the 10 most wanted FBI list. We're not normal people. Ah! gambled $1.6 million at the Mandalay in the week before he did this. He was really, really angry with the gaming industry. There's been accusations that there's multiple shooters that has been proven to be false. You had politicians grandstanding on this Vegas Strong movement to get elected. Vegas Strong. I'm turning tragedy into opportunity. It was an election year and it was camera time for Lombardo and his friends. I want to thank Sheriff Lombardo for your leadership. I'm getting face time every day. Almost every press conference, you saw one figure, and that was Steve Sislak, using this as a springboard for his political campaign. We use the tragedy to get elected. While the hashtag Vegas Strong campaign raised over $10 million, less than $20,000 were distributed to the victims in the first five months. We want those records released. If they came out and said what really happened, I think they're afraid of a period of time where people say it's not safe to go to Vegas. Nothing happens in Las Vegas without the ring of a cash register. MGM Resorts is suing the victims. They are being sued for getting shot. Shameful, disgusting, outrageous. The newly released video shows Las Vegas police waiting in the hallway as Stephen Paddock continues to murder people. Oh my God. Lives could have been saved if they would have taken action. They were vivid the whole time about being such big heroes they are hiding in the hallway. I asked them, are you stupid or are you incompetent? Please stop asking your question. 
You hear officers directly saying, turn your cameras off. There is no conspiracy. Can't trust it! Yeah, can't trust this!